Well guys, it is that time of the week again. It is Thursday, December 31st, the last day of 2020, and we have a brand new event week in GTA 5 Online, and it is pretty terrible. We're going to be going over everything new that we have received this week, and a lot of you are going to be pretty disappointed, but in all honesty, don't forget, it is the end of the year. Obviously, everybody at Rockstar is spending time with their families and about to celebrate and hope that the new year is going to turn out to be an amazing year. I'm hoping for that. Honestly, we'll have to see in the first month because that usually decides everything. But anyways, let's get into this video and start talking about some of the crap that we got for this week. So first things first, the podium vehicle is the Ominous. Apparently you can get this vehicle for free if you guys actually purchase the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. So that's kind of cool. I guess if you guys want to win it, there's a link down below in the description exactly how to win it every single time. So that is one new thing we got. We also got the Sasanta Nove Monogram Camo for the Speedo Custom, the Menacer, and the Revolter vehicles. So if you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much like the Louis Vuitton livery, I guess, in GTA 5. It's honestly a pretty cool livery, one of my favorite ones in the game. So it's kind of cool that we got it on a few vehicles. I don't know why we just can't put liveries on every vehicle. So yeah, we got this. That's another new thing we received this week. Another terrible thing we got this week is the fact that the Brioso 300 was removed from GTA Online. So you can now no longer get it. Now, if you have it in your garage, you can actually keep it. So that means you now have a rare vehicle that we can no longer get in game, which is kind of strange. I don't know why Rockstar removed it. Sadly for me, I actually had it, but knowing me, I never actually sell vehicles. I just replace them. So I accidentally replaced this vehicle thinking I'd be able to buy it whenever I wanted to. And now I guess I cannot. So if you have this vehicle, count yourself as one of the lucky ones. Who knows, maybe we'll get it for another drip feed vehicle at some point in 2021, which would kind of suck since we already received it. It seems like Rockstar is kind of slacking off a little bit with that by removing one of the free vehicles that we got in this game. Another thing we actually received this week is 40% off all stilt houses and luxury apartment buildings along with all garages in GTA 5, which means you guys can go and pick up an apartment right now for a pretty cheap price. And let's say you guys own one of the more expensive ones and you still wanted an apartment, like let's say you had a $1 million Eclipse Towers apartment, trade that in for one of the cheaper Eclipse Towers apartments, get a huge rebate back on what you purchased it for, save a bunch of money and get a free like 400, 500K, maybe even more back into your bank account. So there's some free money for you guys right there. Definitely take advantage of that. Another thing we actually received is for the, some reason, we have another property available that we can purchase. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this came out this week or not, but when I went and clicked on one of these properties, I was actually able to, you know, just put it in an empty slot on my properties list, which was kind of strange because I'm pretty sure I actually bought all of the properties, like the max amount. So let me know, do you guys have an empty property slot available as well, or is it just me who did not buy any other properties to fill up in this empty slot but for me i have an empty slot so it seems like we have another property we're able to purchase which is also kind of cool in terms of discounts we got the ramp buggy and the phantom wedge which are some pretty cool vehicles so you guys can get them on discount for this week only and probably another couple weeks in 2021. one of the best things about this event week though is the fact that the snow is gone don't get me wrong, snow is cool for about an hour and a half, maybe less, just because you could pick up some snowballs and throw them around. But now, guys, when you're flying an airplane or in a helicopter, you can actually see what is in front of you. That was the most annoying thing about the snow. If you go out into the ocean, you have no idea how high up you are or how low you are. The amount of times I crashed because I could not see anything because there was a blizzard literally 24-7. So I'm very thankful that the snow is gone, but don't worry, if you guys like the snow, we will be receiving it again sometime in the first week of January, as we normally do every single year in GTA 5. It'll be shortly after New Year's. I believe it'll be on like the second or the third, not 100% sure, but I guarantee you guys we will see it again in another couple of days. Now that I actually looked through everything in GTA 5 right now, I just realized virtually every single garage is on sale 40% off this week. So if you guys do want to go and buy some garages in your office, if you want to buy one for your MOC, your arena you know, workshop, pretty much anything, you can get them all on sale, which is pretty cool. So go and buy some garages this week, even though you probably don't need to because most of you already own a garage. But let's say you got this game for Christmas. Congratulations. You guys can get some garages 40% off. So in terms of double money events, 
we have one, if I'm not mistaken, and this is the only one. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this was the exact same one as last week or the week before. The in and out adversary mode. Was this not just double money? So I guess this is kind of like a repeat week like they did just a few short weeks ago. So we get double money on that. Now, in terms of actually making money this week, do not do that. Obviously do the Kyle Perico heist solo, you'll make the most amount of money possible. So if you guys do want to make money, that is still going to be the number one way to make money in GTA 5, most likely until the expanded and enhanced version of GTA Online comes out in 2021. But we'll have to see when the time actually comes. But right now, for making money this week, the Kyle Perico heist is still your best bet. Now there actually is something kind of cool that was added this week. According to Tez Funds 2 on Twitter, he said that there's actually some treasure on the Cal Perico Island, which is kind of cool because one, we obviously are going to be doing that heist a lot, and two, we can get some extra free money or who knows what else. Maybe it's something we can actually steal during the heist. Not 100% sure about it yet, but when I find out exactly what it's all about, I'm literally heading over to the island as this video is being made and you guys are watching it so hopefully in the next few hours you guys will know exactly what is going on with that and how much treasure we could find and exactly what it's worth but anyways guys that is pretty much all of the new stuff we've received this week in gta 5 online not the best vent week ever but honestly we received a lot of great stuff in 2020 and hopefully 2021 will be a lot better anyways thank you guys for watching the video hopefully you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one